4 p.m. It's uh, 9.4 amps. So our uh, inverter should be able to do it because it's an 18 amp inverter. It's uh, made by Stark. So uh, I'm getting ready. It's raining outside right now, but uh, when it stops, we'll uh, go out there and uh, hook everything up. Place them in the well and uh, start draining the well down because it's not been used in over 40 years. So I figured I would uh, let some water run out of it a couple of days or whatever to get any bacteria or anything that ha that may have uh, been grown in there. But the pump is uh, 28 inches tall. Let's see you in a minute. And what you see, I just got a 100 foot tape measure, set of fence and pliers. I'm going to tape these to the pliers and see how deep the well goes. So let me get these taped on there and we'll get right back with you. Alright, <clears throat> just want to ease this scudder down in there. And when it hits water, that tells me how far down the water is, obviously. There it was. There's the water, which is at 20, 21 feet 9 inches down. It's water, so now I'm just going to let it drop until it hits the dirt, the bottom of the well. Got bottomed out at 66 feet. No, it's not a very deep well. As you can see right there, 66 foot mark. And then, right there is the so at 22 feet. When we hit water, so now I'm just going to test the well pump in a one of the buckets that we uh, water the horses in to make sure it works to prevent and from hooking the, everything up and dropping the line and the uh, well not working. So let me get this reeled out and pump set up and uh, get back with you. Alright, what you see there is the Renogy 2000 watt 12 volt inverter. You've got my three batteries back there and you can see the yellow extension cord plugged into it and then the camper plugged into it. So what we're going to do is just come out here and have the uh, whale, 110 volt whale, as you can see my solar power here. I got there where I watered the horses. I'm just going to dry fit everything just to make sure the whale works instead of hooking everything up, the lines and all that, just to find out that it doesn't work. And, uh, you know, it comes with a six-foot extension cable. The end's cut off. And I just took another section and the orange there and added to it because that's not going to be in the water. And then just uh, plug into it with the yellow extension cord. But I'm just going to pass the camera off to the wife and 
That way I can uh, start hooking everything up. Like I said, I got the uh, got that down in there. I just got to tighten him up a little bit with the old monkey, the old monkey wrench here, and uh, <clears throat> should be tight there, tight enough rather. Batteries is about, I don't know, half, halfway up. There we go. Okay. And then when you put the Teflon tape on the threads, it's better to do it counterclockwise. That way, when you screw it on, it tightens itself up. If you put it on like you're putting it on, it uh, it'll just unravel inside the threads. And not give you a proper seal. Let me get this all dude added up and uh, I'll get back with you. You know? Mm -hmm. I said everything's just hand tight for right now. But anyway, get here and turn these on and see if the old solar. Solar power does it. Lay it down there. Come on, Goober. There you go. <laughs> She's at work. She's a running though. Leaking like a CF right here on the fittings. Yes, sir. Alrighty, so now all I gotta do is throw her in the well and uh we should have some water. All right, I got a slight problem here. The well pump is stopping at 28 feet down. It won't go no further. Sounds like it's bottoming out. But you just seen with the tape measure and hammer, it went down 67 feet. And this is the pipe that came out of it. And it goes up and goes all the way over there. I don't know what the problem is. I still got like 40 some feet left to go down in the well. But as you can see here, or listen, here, bottom one out. It won't, I don't know what the problem is. So let me uh, pull it back out, hook a wire to that pump there. That's a 220 pump. And uh, see if it goes below 27 feet. I got her on down there. I'm gonna, as you can see there, I got her a pumping. 
I'm just going to run it over and let her hang over the hill. Maybe it'll pump it dry or... There we go. Just stop. All right, we'll go turn it off. All right, I got to bring out the big guns. Got a little hook here that goes on a horse-drawn piece of equipment. So I'm going to tie a rope to it, pull it down the well, and uh, see what's got my well pump hung up. You can see here, you can't see a lot down in there. I can see water. I can see the water there, but that's about it. I don't know if the well's picking it up. The camera's picking it up or not. Zoom this down and see what you got. You can see something down in there, but I don't know what it is. Alright, I'm going to commence the plowing and the hooking rather. See what the deal is. I think the big guns did it there. Because they went down to the 27 foot mark and uh, I was prodding around. I grabbed a hold of something. I was pulling on it and then I don't know if it's freed up or went down but I know what it was. It was my uh, well cap casing. Uh, the split in the middle, it's, you know, it's got uh, six bolts on it, three on one side and three on the other. I dropped it down when I pulled the old pump out. So I'm assuming that's what was hung up. So I'm going to pull this uh, rope back out with a hook on it and try to uh, resend my uh, pump down. All right, we got water now. All I gotta do is turn the spigot on here. I got water. All I gotta do now is just uh, get a pressure tank, and that way the pump down there can cut off. But every time we need water or whatnot, we water the horses or put it in the camper. We'll just go and plug the uh, plug it up and let it run get what water we need and uh, turn it back off and what we've been doing as you see the water hose there we've just been attaching it to the spigot running it up filling up the uh, the tanks that way uh, gravity feed just in case the well pump decides to take a crap on us so that's just an old bucket. That's just something I grabbed to throw the spigot underneath it. But outside of that, you know, we got water now, so uh, that prevents us from uh, hauling water. All right, thank you for watching.